Hi, this is Mananjal V. As mentioned at the top of the video, in this episode I'll show you how to create a silent film effect in LumaFusion. Before we get started, if you like my LumaFusion tutorials, please like this video, leave a comment, suggest ideas and consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. For this tutorial, first I'll show you how to apply the silent film effect to a video. Then I'll show you how to create titles that look like the title cards used in silent films. We start in LumaFusion with the video to which the effect will be applied already placed in the main track. This is the video I chose. When choosing footage for this project, keep in mind that the videos will be sped up between 2 to 3 times. You will need videos that are at least 10 to 12 seconds long, so you can get at least a 3 to 4 seconds duration. If you are filming your own footage, plan ahead for shots longer than usual. Let's start by converting the video to black and white. The result should be darker and with more contrast than what you would usually set to be close to the way silent films look. You could do this by applying a suitable LUT, or by introducing color adjustment as I'll show next. Edit the video. Tap on the Colors and Effects tab, if not already selected, and select the Palette section. Tap to add the original preset. Reduce the brightness, increase the contrast, and bring the saturation down to zero. Now it's a matter of taste, but I like to add a slight bluish accent to the result. To do so, increase the blue color setting to 1.06 and change the hue to 0.457. Now tap on the Speed and Reverse tab. You can simulate the flow of movement that you see in silent films by doubling the speed of the video as shown. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks now. Next, let's add an old film overlay. I wanted to make sure that you have access to the same overlay that I'm using, so I picked one that is currently free in Storyblocks. Select Storyblocks in the Sources menu and search for Simple Old Film Look as shown. Add the overlay to the timeline to the right of the clip containing the footage. This is how the overlay looks. Silent films were filmed in a 4x3 aspect ratio. For this video, I will keep the 16x9 aspect ratio so as not to lose the sides of the footage. But if it's really up to you to decide how realistic you want the effect to look. Let's start by recreating the soft round edges that are common in silent film projections. Edit the overlay clip. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab if not already selected. Expand the cropping section. Set each of the left, top, right and bottom settings to the number 2 as shown. Increase the edge softness to 8.5 and finally increase the corner radius to 25. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks so far. Now drag the overlay clip to the track just above the footage and align it with the beginning of the clip. Next, let's engrave the scratches and marks that appear in the overlay clip into the footage in the main track. To do so, you will blend the overlay clip with the footage below it using the Stencil Luma Blend Mode. Edit the overlay. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab if not already selected. Expand the Blending section and select the Stencil Luma Blend Mode. When using the Stencil Luma Blend Mode, 
the white background of the overlay clip won't affect the footage in the main track. However, the scratches and marks will affect the luminosity of the footage, effectively appearing as dark marks embedded in the video. You may want to accentuate the effect a bit more. To do so, tap on the Colors and Effects tab and select the Palette section. Tap to add the original preset. Move the playhead of the preview to a place where there are many scratches and marks, so you can see how changes affect the blend result. Pull slightly the middle levels towards the center as shown. As you can see, the scratches and marks get more visible as you move the mid-levels towards the center. Don't overdo. Make sure that the scratches still feel embedded in the footage. Now exit back to the timeline. As you can see, the overlay is just 5 seconds long and shorter than the footage in the main track. To remedy that, clone the overlay clip as many times as necessary, placing one after the other so the footage in the main track is fully covered by the overlay clip in the track above it. This is how it looks now. Now let's move to the title card. Title cards in silent films are important because they provide dialogue and narrative. To get started, select titles in the source menu and add the classic main title at the beginning of the timeline. Move and clone the overlay clip as many times as necessary, placing one after the other, so now the title card and the footage, both in the main track, are fully covered with the overlay clip in the track above them. Edit the title and select the title section if not already selected. Delete the text. Add a rectangular shape and resize it so it covers the entirety of the screen. Change the color of the rectangle to a dark grey. The dark grey color should be light enough to show the scratches and marks of the overlay. Now add a text element and keep it centered. Change the font to a font that conveys an old style. Now modify the text to one that works for you. Keep the length of each line in the text shorter than half of the width of the screen because you will be stretching it in a moment. Preview the result. As you can see, the text looks sharp and out of place. To fix that, start by adding some blur. Tap on the Colors and Effects tab and select the Drop section. Select the Gaussian 5 preset and change the radius to 2 or 3. Now it looks better, but I usually go one extra step and I stretch the text sideways. In my opinion, it helps making the text look more like an organic part of the title. To do so, tap on the Frame and Fit tab, go to Size and Position, increase the overall size if you need, and then stretch the title sideways by increasing only Size X by about 60%. Exit back to the timeline, and we are done. This is how it looks now. You'll probably be creating a story with multiple title cards and shots. So once you're ready with the effect, you will need to apply it to all the titles and videos in your timeline using copy paste and then add overlays to cover the footage in your story. To complete the effect, add some uplifting piano music in the background as I did in the example at the beginning of the tutorial. I also added the sound of a projector in the background.
This effect could be used also on color footage with interesting results. Here's an example. So this is it for this episode. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.